Exhale in three, two, one. And so we're already at our healthy fats. Let's go to vanilla smoothie. Hi, an official good morning and welcome back to the channel. As you guys saw earlier, I did my first Lumen check-in of the morning. I'm getting ready to make breakfast. All I've had is my coffee. I'm still sipping on my coffee right now. It is now 8.46, so I typically eat breakfast between 9 and 9.30, so this is perfect. I'm going to show you guys how I use the Lumen and how I track macros throughout the day. So all I've had is my coffee and we will log that together and then we'll log breakfast Breakfast, and then I'll show you how I plan for my day because I like to input my snacks and what I'm gonna have for dinner so that I know how much to eat and what I can eat. Now, the one thing with the Lumen that I struggle with is that it's different macros every single day. Some days they give you high carb days, some days they give you low carb days, and it's not consistent. It's not like Mondays are a high carb day, Sunday's a low carb day. They just throw them at you, and I'm assuming that it's supposed to to like balance your metabolism or some kind of science behind it. I don't love that because typically the days that they give me a low carb day, I am starving. Hi, good morning. You wanna say good morning to the channel? Good morning. Good morning, this is our little snowflake bunny today, huh? Yeah, so cute. We're gonna make some breakfast. What are you eating right now? Blueberries and yogurt. Blueberries and yogurt. And are we gonna make Maui eggs? Yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing a full day of tracking macros, we're gonna do a Sydney Cummings workout. We're gonna do a full day of eating hot girl summer, what I eat in a day. If that's content that you guys like to see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I am going to show you how I log my breakfast. I'll just time lapse this. I'll log it in here and I'll show you how I'm logging it while I'm making breakfast. So let's make some breakfast. Okay. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Oh my goodness, you guys. Doug got me this beautiful pan for my birthday. It's called the Always Pan. It is so incredible. I'm gonna use it all day today, so. Just, we love it. We love her. She's beautiful. I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way transparency breakfast is ready but I forgot to take my supplements so I'm quickly gonna take my seed symbiotic my 5p5 and my theanine for the morning I'm gonna do that right now and then I'm gonna sit down and eat breakfast I think I'm gonna go take my breakfast outside because it's so beautiful and Olivia is outside so we're just gonna go hang out and eat some breakfast outside all right so I will check in with you guys a little bit later I'll show you how I log my whole day and then we'll come back for lunch because I found my way
so it's a little bit later. It is 10.30 now. We're gonna go through Lumen. I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. I hope this background is okay. My office is just, we're still remodeling the kitchen, heaven help us. And so I've got a bunch of stuff in my office. And so this is the backdrop for today. So we're gonna go into my Lumen. I'll pop it up on the screen. I've already input breakfast. I showed you guys that earlier and what the macros were for breakfast, which is great. This is where we're at right now. 20 net carbs, 37 healthy fats, and 29 protein, okay? And these are all in grams, okay. So I am keeping today super, super simple. And when I'm tracking, that is what works best for me. Planning a bunch of new recipes just takes a ton of time and a lot of forethought. And I have found for me, the easiest way to track is to measure your food. So that's just a big tip if you're looking at doing macros. For instance, especially with lumen say today for lunch i know that i'm gonna have leftover pork chops on salad so i'm just gonna do greens some avocado bell pepper and pork chop and that's it maybe a little bit of olive oil so let's pop up lunch right now okay so i've got grilled pork chop and so do you see how it says one chop without refuse so I'm just gonna go to ounces and then I will actually measure the weight at lunchtime. I will show you what that looks like and then we'll adjust it. My guess is it's gonna be four to five ounces. So we'll say five for the higher end just in case and then we'll readjust, okay? I'm also gonna do some bell pepper avocado so i'm going to say two ounces which is a half of an avocado because i'm not going to be eating avocado for dinner and then i need some greens this is the organic girl mixed baby spring mix i'm going to do about two cups which is perfect and then that is it that's going to be lunch so i'm going to log lunch this is where i'm at with lunch so tonight for dinner i am making our butternut squash we call it pasta. It used to have pasta in it and we just don't do the pasta, but we still call it butternut squash pasta. I can't explain why. <laughs> So I will show you guys what I make for dinner and I've made it for the channel before it's super quick super easy And I will weigh out all that stuff But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just say it's ground chicken. So I'm gonna go ground chicken and yeah four ounces is fine Okay, and then we're gonna do butternut squash cups cubed we'll just say one cup cubed for now because that might actually be accurate we'll weigh that out tonight and then it's just like a squeeze of lemon sage there is some butter i'm gonna put in unsalted butter again it's only gonna let me put in a tablespoon so we'll do that even though i'm not gonna be eating a tablespoon of butter you use a tablespoon of butter for the whole meal so that's okay done and then two cups of greens okay so log dinner Okay, so here's where we're at with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now we need to add our snacks. My go-to snacks are my vanilla green smoothie because it's so good, you guys. If you guys have not tried the vanilla green smoothie, just go do it. It's so good. It literally tastes like a milkshake. If you make it with canned coconut milk, literal milkshake like it's creamy it's vanilla it's it's just everything okay so just do it i have three go-to snacks depending on how hungry i am so my peanut butter perfect bar a honey crisp apple with two tablespoons of peanut butter which i've been measuring my peanut butter lately because i used to just eat all the peanut butter and i'm trying to this has brought me back a little bit and is like making me track a little bit more, which is good. It's just good knowledge. So we're gonna put in our perfect bar, add to snacks, log snacks, okay. And so we're already at our healthy fats. Let's go to vanilla smoothie. Okay, so this vanilla smoothie has three quarters of a cup of macadamia nut milk and it has a whole banana in it. I'm gonna add that because that's the best. We'll see what that looks like. Okay, so now as you can see, we're slightly over our carbs however we have not logged our workout yet so let's quickly log a workout really quick not log but I'm gonna input a workout just to see what it says we're gonna say it's a hit workout yeah we'll say 45 minutes of high intensity Okay, so it still says I'm over my carbs by six 
okay? So we can adjust that in a couple ways. Let's go back to our lunch. It just takes a lot of forethought. Okay, so you just kind of have to play with the numbers. Let's pull up the lunch. I've got my vanilla smoothie on the bottom. So if I X that out, we'll update lunch and let's go back into lunch and you'll see I have a half mac, half banana smoothie. That's just a half cup macadamia nut milk and a half of a banana. So we'll add that, we'll update it. Okay, so now I'm under with my carbs, which is, <laughs> this is the game. This is the game that you play. Okay, so then I can do one of two things. We'll see how hungry I am. I can either add an apple and peanut butter. I don't know, that may be too much fat. So that puts me over my protein, over my fat, and over my net carbs. So let's take that off. <laughs> Something that I've been doing at the end of the night, if I'm still hungry or honestly just because I can now, um, I have slowly been reintroducing food into my body. I've been doing a half cup of frozen blueberries and two little squares of 100% cacao chocolate bar and it's everything. So let's just input that and see, we'll see what happens. Frozen blueberries. So we're gonna say four ounces. We're gonna add that to snacks. And then we're also going to add Alter Eco. And I only do two sections. So we're gonna add that to snacks. Let's update snacks. Okay, so we're not bad. Okay, so we're at 103 carbs and we're supposed to be at 105. We're a little bit over healthy fats. Let's go back to lunch and we'll do avocado. We'll take it down to one ounce, add to lunch, update. Okay, that's better. We're still over our protein. So we'll play with this as we go along because I've just put in numbers, if that makes sense. Also, I am not like on a cut and I'm not on a bulk. I don't need this to be 100% on the money. I'm using this as a tool and a guide to get me to where I wanna go. And also, I'm on my period right now and I am starving. Like, I'm ready to go make a smoothie right this second and it's only been an hour. So this is what our day is looking like currently. We'll do a workout later. Let's go make a quick smoothie because I'm hungry. And then Liv and I have to go to Whole Foods and then I'm gonna come home, do some meal prep, and then we'll make dinner together. That is how I set up my day. I showed you how I input everything. If you need to build a recipe like I did for my smoothie, I went into my fitness pal and I input all the ingredients and then it gives you the macros for it. And so then you take that information go back to Lumen and input because you can't build a recipe inside Lumen unless you have all the facts. Like it needs all the carbs, all the protein, like it doesn't break it down for you. So you have to do that in a separate app and bring it in. That's why I don't really do it like that anymore. I did it for my smoothie because my smoothie is the exact same every single day. So I was like, I can make it once it's fine, but now I just input each ingredient that I use and I measure it. So when I'm eating lunch, I'll measure my protein and I will listen to my body. If I'm still hungry, you guys, I'm going to eat. I am not gonna let an app tell me if I'm hungry or if I'm full or not. Does that make sense? I am not okay with listening to an app more than I am listening to my body. You have to listen to your body and do what is right for you always. I urge you to do that always, okay? So anyway, that's just my little spiel. Listen to your body always. Let's go make a smoothie because I am so hungry. Seriously, the best. I can't stop drinking it. I've had this smoothie every single day for like months now. It's so good.
All right, you guys, checking back in. I am gonna have my perfect bar right now because I'm getting ready to jump into my workout. I'm actually so proud of myself that I finished that workout. <laughs> that was really hard. <sighs> okay, I'll see you at meal prep. I'm getting ready to prep dinner because it's four o'clock. So we want to get that done. So I have my peanut butter bar logged already. That's why I like logging ahead of time. I think that that is a huge help. If you can even plan out a couple days, it's hard with the lumen to plan a couple days ahead because it changes what your goals are every single day. So that is the only downfall to this. If I was gonna be macro counting regularly, I would probably plan my meals out for more than just one day at a time. I would plan like, three days ahead and then, you know, do it. But I would highly recommend doing it in the morning, plan out what you're gonna eat and then just make adjustments where you need to. So there is that. We have logged our food. I'm gonna prep some dinner. So I'll show you dinner when dinner is done and then Liv and I are just gonna probably eat dinner outside. It is seriously 95 degrees right now, which I know to some people that's not hot. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I just did a, a cardio workout and I'm, I'm very hot right now, <laughs> so. All right, so just really quick, I am making my own homemade Italian sausage. I will leave the link in the description box down below of the Italian sausage that I am making. I am making my own Italian sausage because I have SIBO gut issues. I don't do garlic and onion. And 99, I think all Italian sausage has garlic and onion or at least one of them in there. So I am modifying it to make it work for me and my body. I just omit the garlic and onion and do everything else. Also, I use the Simply Organic Italian seasoning because it does not have garlic or onion in there. This. And other than that, those are the only two differences that I have. I've got my ground chicken. I like ground chicken more than ground turkey. It just has more flavor. It's not as dry. And I'm cooking up my butternut squash and that's it. That's what we're making. And then I'll put it over a bed of lettuce and it's delicious. I'll leave the macros over there. I've got it listed. You know, I've showed you guys how I've input it. I'll show you how I make this Italian sausage and then I'll show you dinner. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. You guys, we are literally so close to a thousand subscribers. We may even be at a thousand subscribers by the time this video goes live, which is just a dream come true. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. I love ya, I can't say it enough. And if you hit that little notification bell, it'll just send you a notification when my next video comes out. And if this is content 
that you guys like to see, please just let me know in the comments down below. Was this video helpful for you? Did you enjoy this style of a video? We've got a lot of fun summer content coming up. I've got a 30 days with Sydney and using the Lumen before and afters. I've got a pack with me. We're going to Maui, baby. We're going to do some content in Maui. It's going to be so much fun. So stick around. I still have the kitchen remodel. I'm starting to edit for you guys. I was hoping to have it done so we could do like before and afters, but supplies, y'all, it's insane right now with construction. Like we can't get the Wayne's coating for our kitchen. So anyway, stay tuned for that because it's going to be so good. Oh my goodness. So good. Anyway, I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.